All I'm saying is John was looking at it. I love that little figurine. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we already have a super chat, a.k.a. El Fuego throwing fire into the caboose, getting the train going. Let's go. Thank you, Cor Cornut and El Fuego, the train and the caboose. These guys are awesome. The Living Loud with Andy and Kicker fans want to get the show started like a locomotive. Let's go. Well, you heard the man. Let's get this going. This is the Unmasked After Show. Let's kick it off. You know what? I forgot the little thing. It's all right. Let's kick it. Nah. No long intro. We don't need it. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and thanks for your support. I know you guys have been waiting... You know, the Unmasked show ended at like 9.40, so we're just going to kick it off. We don't need to be up all night. Thank you guys for tuning in. El Fuego, again, thank you, man. Appreciate you. And speaking of which, they actually got to feature El Fuego's kicker build on the Unmasked show. If you haven't seen it, this thing is awesome. He won this on the kicker Unmasked show about two plus years ago, and it's just beautiful. It is beautiful. Stu's Designs, Cornut put this thing together. And speaking of Cornut, uh, man, I, talk about Cornut in the wild. Installing the system for the comp cue with the down for sound amplifier. And uh, yeah, down for sound little battery too. And TSPs and all stuff I don't even know about. Man, Cornut, you're awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uncle Bobby B. Man, this guy just wants, he just wants to get this party started. Uncle Bobby B, baby. Uncle Bobby B. Thank you for tuning in, Bobby. Appreciate ya. Hurry up, 1030. See, I started early for you guys. Figured, you know, the intro is for everybody to get their favorite beverage, but you guys had plenty of time to do that. And uh, I am throwing this in every stream from now on. Just type Q before your comment. Just, you know, so I see it as a good question. You know, I don't want to skip over it. BT, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you. And man, the Unmasked show. Was that not awesome with just them talking about every subwoofer? And I'm like, you know what? This t shirt, I love it, but on camera, it's really hard to not make my face look red. And I sat here for 25 minutes adjusting my lighting. So let me know how it looks just so I can wear the shirt. And it's got the kicker gold letter on the front and on the back. It's so cool. It really is. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And speaking of Garrick, thank you as well for tuning in. This guy finally got his Living Loud with Andy merch. Just take a look at that. I love it. Garrick, thank you for posting this on Facebook. And Dubby, with the awesome designs, you guys are literally awesome. Thank you, Garrick. Jason Stokes, this guy's trying to make me dance. Good evening, Andy and the fellas. Thank you for tuning in, Mr. Stokes. We got Dobby. What is up, Dobby? There's El Fuego saying hello to everybody. Adrian, good, good, good question. We got to zoom in for this one. Can you find me a recone for my 10 inch L7Q? You know, they do not make uh, drop-in recones just for every kicker. It's the Solo X line. But you can always uh, menangle something, find the right spider pack, find the right coil size, and, and, and all those kind of variables. So you, you got to ask the right person and salvage the face of the cone because these cones here, well, let's see. Well, I got this one kind of zoomed in on over here. We might as well just look at it. The Solo X is very similar, even though that this has, that is the drop in recone. There is no dust cap. The dust cap is all in one. So whenever you're reconing these guys, you literally have to make sure that the surround is intact off of the gasket or, you know, just the, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> 
<laughs> the basket where the surround lays on and you have to salvage that and cut inside and make sure that you don't damage everything and there's like three parts to it to take it apart uh, you can do it uh, my buddy Seth that's actually coming over to recon one of these guys back here uh, is going to do my solo X but he's done the L7S uh, twice so it is doable uh, you just gotta find the coil we I can help you out there Adrian appreciate ya Baba's shouting out the green team. Yeah, they're hanging out down here, man. And all you guys, thank you so much. Baba, appreciate you tuning in. You guys are so cool, like literally dedicated. I know when I'm sitting there on the Unmasked show, like we're all like just going 90 miles a minute, you know, texting and commenting and, and, and just enjoying what Kicker does and a lot of these live streams do. And to do this as well, this is awesome. Thank you guys for supporting the show. Will, Will, William, and he knows that you just got to look at it. Would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Just look at it. It's a live stream. That's a live stream? Yeah. Would you look at that? <laughs> Would you look at that? And you know what's funny? Uh, Ed Bassmaster literally changed his profile or his cover photo to that, which, man, it's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. Dubby, Dubby, Dubby. You know what? I am slacking big time. I forgot to pull up Kicker Club. Good thing it's like on speed dial here on my phone. You know, it's like the first thing. Nope, I don't want to update nothing. I don't want to post nothing. Search. There we go. This phone's so old. Wow, first one, Kicker Club. There we go. And uh, yes, I am streaming in Kicker Club. Awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. Simon Stately, what kind of amp are you running for your Kicker 12-inch Solo X? Well, usually the KXA2400, but uh, there's something else in there now. It's got a little bit more power. What's going on, sir? Mac, what's up? Thank you for tuning in, Mac. Appreciate you. You guys are awesome. I like the Kicker Unmasked rolling. You know, you have to, man. And it's just between the rolling thunder and then unmasked doing shows after that and uh you know it's it's you, you got to give a little kickback hey you know what here we go let's get this party rolling have to thank you baba if you guys had any questions about any of the kicker subs that they were talking about which is every single line of subwoofer that they have and you know the pros and cons what they're designed to do everything drop a question down below uh, if you had a question that was on the Unmasked show and it didn't get answered, I'll try to answer it the best way I can. Let's see. That's all you got to do, Garrick. Just got to look at it. He's wearing it. He is wearing it. Thank you, Garrick. Choke change. What's up? How's it? A little late. That Conk Q looks killer. It really is. I can't wait till those are released with the new uh, improved uh, forced air cooling and all those factors. I can't wait. Kyle, what's up? Hola, amigos. Thank you for tuning in, man. Double E, um, when will I win a competition? Uh, as soon as kickers start shipping uh, overseas, we'll, we'll get you going, man. We'll rig it in your favor. <laughs> I think we'd have to pick up a lot of big phones to get that going. Let's see. Thank you for hanging out, man. Appreciate that you're here. Drew Landers, what's up? Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate all you guys, man. Let's see, would you just, would you just look? There's Kibo, the man, the myth, the legend. Thank you for hanging out, Kibo. Appreciate you, man. Uh, gotta get up early, get back to the grind. This guy just works a lot like a lot of you guys do. I appreciate that uh, you just came in here and smashed the like, just hung out like you do. Sorry, my hands are all cut up right now, like literally working on Cookie Monster this weekend. And uh, that was just for the, uh, the front bumper falling off, you know. <laughs> I will get a replacement on it eventually, but I got to get like new front quarter panels too. So it's like the bass comes first, the sound, and uh, you know, everything else is kind of, it's on the back burner. You guys know how it goes. <laughs> Let's see. All right, all right, all right. Now, you know, I feel like Kicker really covered so much with every woofer that they had. And, you know, I actually did a kick in with Andy on this exact topic of just every single driver, you know, so man, you know, each one literally has its own job and, and some can kind of blend together to work in the same kind of environment, but 
with different pros and different cons. So it, it all depends. Um, but the comp line, just every single one of them, the comp, the comp C, the CVR, CVX, just they're all underrated gems and they are they are truly awesome. They really are. Let's see. Oh, we got a $5 super chat from Trap House. Would you look at that? Well, Would you look at that? Nick oh Mark. my gosh, Nick just Mark. look at it. Just look at it. You gotta look at it this way, okay? You just gotta look at it. That's all you can do anymore. Thank you, Trap. Appreciate you, man. Shout out, Andy, for being such a good host. You make every aspect of car audio interesting and fun. Looking forward to SDK boxes that should be here soon. Thank you, man. And that is a... Uh, a really nice compliment thank you man and it means a lot because you know any youtuber whatever have you speaker you know they they, they kind of question themselves so hearing that it means a lot man thank you so much and thank you uh for the super chat appreciate what you do for all us content creators in the car audio scene as well man i see you thank you trap appreciate you man el fuego you know the guy you know you know pacific northwest guy the pacific northwest and uh awesome build awesome guy el fuego question how do you feel about six comp gold 12s wired to 1.3 ohms on the new war horse and a 2000 tracker versus four comp golds wired a half ohm on the same amp i know i, I think you can get a 1.3333333 ohm load with six of them because they are all dual fours there's no dual twos for the kicker comp golds at all but still i believe so because you had parallel series series parallel vice versa when you have more than three subs it can get kind of crazy with impedance loads and uh, or resistant loads you know your starting load just how you're wiring up the speaker and uh so to do that the difference i mean it depends six of them just like how aaron was talking about tonight they had 25 watts going to each speaker and there was like 50 of them that reminds me of me whenever i was 16 and i had like eight or ten stacked on like a, a regular home radio and it was just loud um and it probably wasn't even putting that much power to each speaker they weren't moving much so i i feel like cone area kind of is king but again it, it always does come down to how much space you got for your base uh so with being in a tracker, and I know your vehicle, it's a pretty decent sized SUV. I think four and a half ohm is kind of almost too much power for six of them because they are 500 RMS. So four of them, 2000 RMS, half ohm on a 3600 plus watt amplifier. That's a lot. I would probably go with six at 1.33. Six of those bad boys all firing up, port back. That would dump. And even at 1.33333 ohms, it definitely would work. Thank you, Alpha Wago. That's what I would do. Larry, missed the show. Have to go back and rewatch. Did they mention when the Q Class L7s are coming out? No, they did not. Not yet. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I feel like whenever they say, hey, look, here's the product. We got it right in front of our face. And, you know, we've been down that road with the L7X, so they're not going to do that again. And, uh, you know, the War Horse, I've seen a magazine saying release in June. I don't know 100%, you know, if that's exactly going to happen and the price, if that's going to stay. But still, we are there. So with the Comp Q and with the new revision that they have and then being like a 51 version, I think it should be here within this 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 year of 2024. Uh, is it going to be here for summer? Is it going to be here at the end of the year? I don't know. Uh, but no, they did not mention that yet. Thank you, Larry, for tuning in. Joe Oregon too, another guy I think maybe from the Pacific Northwest. I don't know Oregon, love it. Uh, just got a CVR12, loving it. You know I love the CVR12s. I hear so many stories from their dads having comp VRs or just their experience with the CVR, the old school. Now they call it the comp VR, which it's really the same thing, but just, you know, every kicker product, it's been revamped in some way. And, you know, I, I think it really is uh, just a perfect daily subwoofer, you know, and, and a lot of these are. Every kicker sub can be the perfect daily setup. It depends what you're doing. But between the CVR and the comp R, you know, I don't know. I just... I, I have a feeling I like the design of the CVR, Comp VR, a little bit more than the Comp R. I don't know. That's just me pulling hairs. And uh, maybe the TS Specs, you know, there's a few differences. Nothing too crazy, though. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you. Blinding myself with a kicker page. It wants me to look at it. <laughs> 
Brandon Banks, I haven't seen you in a while, man. Thank you for donating five Living Loud with Andy green team memberships. Well, we got to do this because he gifted him. Yeah, you turned out for what? Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate you, man. Hope you've been well. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Uh, missed you, buddy. And thank you for gifting more memberships. I think we're up to like, I don't even know, like two, three hundred green team members from all the gifted memberships. We were sitting at about a hundred. So thank you guys. And I will try to put more content out there for you guys, just behind the scenes. But honestly, it's a lot about the emojis, man. Who does not want to type a solo X as an emoji on a live stream? I think that is just awesome. And you get that benefit when you are a green team member for only a dollar a month. We keep it. YouTube won't let me lower it anymore. Uh, thank you so much, Brandon. Simon Stately, thank you for tuning in again. What's the difference between a solo X 12 one ohm? or a two ohm solo x now to be simple there's no difference um to be technical slight differences and that's why you can't interchange the one ohm drop in versus putting in the two ohm drop in in that same motor and basket because of tolerance issues how they have to wind the coil and different types of maybe not different types of coil, but you know, the thickness when you have more wraps around uh, a, a former for a speaker and it's the same gauge wire, it's going to be at a higher impedance, a higher load. I keep saying impedance, resistance, higher DC resistance of what your ohm is that you're asking here. So whenever you have more of those, what happens? It tends to be a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. So maybe you have to run, you know, smaller gauge wire and maybe you don't really want to do that. Uh, and you, you have to make the, the, not the motor structure, but the pull piece, the pull piece inside the, inside the motor, maybe a little bit wider, smaller, uh, so that you get that perfect, uh, just gap in between where the coil is and the, uh, you know, the pull piece of just how the electrical magnetic field is generated inside of a speaker. So there are small differences, uh, but nothing too crazy. Uh, if you look at the TS specs, uh, maybe like the FS might be a frequency two or higher compared to the other. Even with my old school Solo X, the FS actually dropped on the Dual 4 compared to the Dual 2. And I think that might have been because of that, maybe a little bit more coil weight and, and a few other factors along the line with just compliance and, and, and just physical uh, TS specs. But still, there really is no difference between the two. Thank you, Simon. Appreciate you, man. You guys are awesome. Keep them up. Keep them up. You know, and, and it's just like, this show's just for like, literally for fun. But you know, I know a lot of you guys have really solid questions. Kicker's got like 150 people watching every stream. So it's easy to get missed on certain comments and certain questions. So that's why I do this stuff. Thank you guys. <clears throat> doing well, man, doing well. Again, just getting ready slightly for Slamology. I've been working on a lot of stuff. And, and this weekend, you know, we went to... Uh, <laughs> Oh, I gotta pull it up here. We went to Comic-Con just because Ali Sheeds, Ali Sheedy from Johnny Five, Stephanie Reassemble was there. I had to see her and uh, get that signature on that t-shirt I had for literally, uh, I don't know, 15 years. And it's, it's sitting right over here. I need to get a nice frame for it. But I had a shower, Johnny Five, too. Uh, so that's what we did on Sunday. I actually was going to compete with the uh, L7X at Mecca for the first time. So me skipping out on a base meet for something else, it's pretty important. Otherwise, you know, Saturday, working on Cookie, tearing out the roof, getting rid of the... Uh, we're keeping the shag in the roof, but I'm getting rid of... Uh, the stock liner you know what i'm talking about the headliner getting rid of that because it's a little droopy and just stick the shag right to it and uh we'll see how it works we will see how it works thank you brandon that was a good donation went well did double e get a uh membership here i wish i could see no it just shows oh oh would you look at that 
I missed this. How did I miss this over here? Let me just pull this down here. Sometimes I miss these. I, 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 I be talking too much here. And let's see. Come on, restart. My little uh, widget is not working. Mm, a little finicky. Thank you, Roger, for the dollar super chat. We got to throw it up. Because we don't want you to blow it up. So turn the game down, Andy. Just dropping by to say hi. Need to get some rest. Take care, everyone. Kicker for the win. Thank you, Andy, for all the things for the base head community. Thank you, Roger. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for just being a good friend, supporting, and just being here. Thank you so much. And uh, get some rest, sir. All right, he dropped another one here, too. <laughs> Living Loud with Andy. Best car audio show to get all the info for Kicker products. Love the community, and thanks for all you do. Keep up the great work. Green team for the win. Thank you, Roger. Means so much, dude. Uh, this guy, Roger. Roger back. Thank you, man. And uh, again, enjoy your evening and your, your kind words. Like, I, I get choked up. Like, I cannot take compliments. I don't know what it is. I have it, I feel weird, but it's like I, I, I understand and I try to not act weird. But it's so hard to, man. So thank you. Thank you from the depths of my heart, honestly. Appreciate you. Roger that. Roger, Roger. Kibo is my personal Geek Squad member. <laughs> He's well. You got Cornut too, man. You got Cornut, and you and and he is nothing less than a Geek Squad installer, by far. Dan O'Brien, thank you for tuning in on Kicker Club. Brian Litchford, you as well, sir. Appreciate you, man. We got 51 all together. You guys are nuts. I love you. Thank you for tuning in, hanging out with me. I'm trying to catch up on the comments again. If you got any questions with the Kicker subs and stuff like that, drop them down below. Let's see here. Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Let's see. Rob Payne. Thought on the 50 series Comp C over the older 44 series. Um, man, you know, with the Comp C, the yellow driver, I have the 44 up here, actually. And I don't have the brand new one. And, you know... I, I think there are going to be some differences between the two, but these ones right there, they sound good. They sound really good, and they take a little bit more power than the comps. And I've ran the kicker comp, just the entry level, people call it the Walmart sub, which, yes, <clears throat> they sell that one at Walmart. But that thing is awesome. And the comp C really acts like that one with kind of what it likes to be in enclosure wise response tonality but it can handle more power but it's not going to be a comp r where it can take you know 500 rms it's it's you know 300 rms give or take <clears throat> on each size so is there going to be a big difference maybe like how jacob was talking about tonight with like how the forced air cooling does not change how much power you should put on it because the 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 physical parameters of the subwoofer have not really changed it's the cooling property so whenever you design an enclosure look at that corner has become a member what the heck i thought he's been a member you know this thing Psh. anyway you design it for so much power right and if if you add more power there's going to be a point where there is barely any spl gain so whenever you run into that you know it, it just it's not really helping but with what they're doing with the forced air cooling of the 50 versus the 43, the difference with that is literally how long can it play of whatever power you're sending it longer. And that's what everybody wants to do is play their system longer. They want to keep it full tilt boogie as long as they can. Nobody looks, likes to turn down their volume because they start to smell the smelly smell that smells smelly. Nobody likes it. So, you know... It's cool that they're doing that to make it better, perform quite the same, but work great. Appreciate you guys all tuning in. The members are popping up real slow. I don't know why it's 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 lagging a little bit today, but that's okay. Maybe disable performance mode. We'll we'll keep that like that. Alert box. Oh, you know what? 
No, that was on. I don't know. I'm going crazy. <laughs> Too many switches over here. Uh, Drew over a 180 dB. Which Drew? Let's see. Drew Landers, question. What DB level has the new Solo X with a single sub? Um, I think I got that. I got a higher score. I just beat Derek that did. Eric, Derek did a 148.18. And um, I'm, I'll, I'll just tell you now. I did a 148.5, single 12. Now, there's other guys that are louder with L7Xs. Got two of them. I, I seen like a 50.5 and then there's a guy out there he's got like six in a fourth order wall he's doing like 58s you know 59s on just low power uh, so you know you you can get a lot out of these guys you really can let's see uh, double E that'll fix a lot that will fix a lot oh man this guy I was wondering where he was at make it rain hit it Michael <laughs> Thank you, 25. Appreciate you. SJC, hello, green team, 10.9 and 14.4 crews. Andy, always delivering the best venue for all us car audio fanatics. Thank you. Appreciate you, SJC. And you guys, you know, making a place for you guys to hang out. I'm honored, you know, and with that feeling, it's like you got to make it the best that you physically can. And uh, I, I, I do try my best. Thank you, SJC. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys all tuning in. And uh, you are definitely to blame, Mom, for getting me hooked on Johnny Five. Whenever I went up and uh, and and seen uh, Stephanie, <clears throat> oh, I was I, I had it. The first thing I said was, well, I didn't tell her to look at it, but I did say. <laughs> I did say I got somebody to show you and I showed him I showed her K5 you know Johnny and we we brought both of them but I said to her I was like you know I appreciate everything that you've done for me I, I I watched that show when I was four pointing to them their age and I could not wait to be five <laughs> because of Johnny five so and, and that's like my my core memory <laughs> of just life and uh, you know it was awesome it really was love you mom thank you for tuning in and yes guys hit the like like dave says yeah don't forget to hit the like you gotta hit the like love them it's real easy that thing that goes like this pretty simple that's it thank you guys we got 24 likes 32 of you being nebby on youtube appreciate you man you know and that's the thing like we we had a little surge of people come in but it's late you know that is the unmasked after show it starts at 10 30 at night so i appreciate you guys just doing it in for a second saying hello saying goodbye and just hanging out for a little bit man appreciate you and thank you kyle let's see Cornut member for six months would you look at that <laughs> oh you sent me a dm come on 25 oh yeah that's right you do have my number right Yep. <clears throat> Let's see. Clint Taylor. Thank you for tuning in. I need a kicker for the drag and drive wagon. Drag and drive wagon. Yeah. Okay. You know what, Clint Taylor? Yeah. You're that guy that's local. I remember you. And you're into like car shows. And, and even with car shows, they get judged if they don't have a subwoofer in their car. Um, you know, and if it's something light, uh, drift car, show car, it's just for show, but you want it to sound good too, man. The kicker would be a great product to throw in there. And and you can make your own custom, you know, fiberglass enclosure and all that kind of stuff, or just go with the preloaded and they look good and they sound uh, really good too, man. They really do. Let's see. All right, it's getting all these things from the guys being members, part of the green team. Oh, come on, RVH. Would you look at that? You seen Joe Oregon CVR12s on YouTubulus? I did. I did. I got pennies. It was definitely uh, shaking the, the front mirror there, Cornut. And, uh, you know, just, just happy to help you guys pick on decisions of each woofer. Because that's literally what Unmasked was talking about tonight. Cornut's asking me, hey, comp R or CVR? 
And I'm like, all right, what, what kind of power do we got? What are we working with here? You know what I'm saying? And uh, <laughs> I went with, I was like, you know what? Just go with the CVR, the Comp VR. You know, I, 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 I just like that one a little bit better. And, and even then, it's pulling hairs, man. They're very two similar products, but maybe if you're looking for something that works a little bit better and a smaller sealed or a bigger sealed or vice versa for ported, one might be a little bit better. And it might be hard to tell the difference, too. Thank you, Cornut, for the pennies! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Little Ryoko! I like it. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. Look up Drag Week. Had the Civic. Let's chat one day. I got you, man. Uh, just give me a PM, DM, whatever these kids call it nowadays on Facebook. I do try to get to them, and there's a lot in my message requests of like, hey, are you a kicker dealer? Hey, hey, I'm like, man, I wish I could answer everybody, but it's like near impossible. You got the YouTube, you got everything, and then, oh, we got kids. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's hard to balance it. Joe Oregon, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you. CVR, Comp VR for the win. And, you know, I don't know why they changed the name because it used to be just, you know, the Comp uh, CVR, but it's probably just so that you have Comp Comp C, B, T, R, T, V, R, R, V, X, Q, W, Z, you know, X, Y, Z. <laughs> so uh, I think that's probably why they changed it. I I, I do miss, uh, let me know if that's sketch, sketching out a little bit on the uh, CPU usage. I'm, I'm, I'm going full tilt boogie here. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Uh, anywho, so with the Comp R... Comp VR that we were talking about here, the VR and the Comp R. Oh, yeah, these two right here. They're really pretty much the same, but just got a little bit of variances with power. You know, the Comp VR is going to be a little bit more efficient watt for watt, and the Comp R is going to be able to take a little bit more power, and they're going to need to be designed in a certain way uh, to best achieve that kind of scenario of whatever they're doing. Yeah, see, the CPU is dying. I think it's because I got this video going on in the background. I'm actually going to kill that video to see if that helps. Hold on, you might... I'll, I'll be able, you'll be able to hear me, but I got to switch some stuff. Yeah, there we go. No, we need this one. There we go. And then this media file. Turn that off. Nope. Background off. Now we... Oh man! <laughs> I'm so sorry for your ears. And then there goes my internet. Great, it's coming back. That's the only issue with that. <laughs> Control Alt Delete. <laughs> yes, I got it up there. I was I was looking at it. I was looking at it. Uh, sorry, Dubby. Simon, can I use my 50% off discount on getting my Bullfrog speaker charger is broken? Uh, the charger port is broken. Um, you know what? Just, just give Kicker a call. I'm sure they can help you out. Yeah, I don't know. That's got the USB old school style there for the charge in. And then you can charge a device like one amp or something like that. Yeah, I would just contact uh, Kicker directly be like hey would you look at this just look at it for me run a gif in the background andy's yeah i know it's just that's like a full tilt like 1080 video so it might be a little bit better now let's take a look at this now it's still at 100 we we using it we using the cpu now we are with all this stuff going on here and just like this monitor that monitor like i got just freaking tv up here it's the size of like i don't even know the moon man it's just massive but we got a good graphics card we got a lot of ram you know it's just the cpu is like here we go it's the alternator <laughs> it's like a 300 amp it's like i need like three of them now <laughs> it's it, it's it's all in the same with car audio and just d electronical devices you know you gotta have the input to make the output you know you you just you just need to more input. Well, yeah, more input is is exactly what we need, J5. Exactly what we need. 
<laughs> Show has went sideways. Let's see. Physics X is turned on the GPU. Yeah, I'm actually using... Uh, well, if you guys want to, like, you know, do that any desk and just look at my computer, make sure it's working right. But you got to know how to work Streamlabs a little bit. But, yeah, it's supposedly using the GPU to encode everything now on this. But it's still coming up on the CPU usage side, which is weird. On Just for uh, Streamlabs, it's like using 56 to 60% of my CPU. <clears throat> You know, I reset the modem every, uh, what is it, Monday night at 4.30 in the morning and Thursday night at 4.30 in the morning. I reset it. SJC says, I think he does not have some of the apps set to use GPU. Yeah, if you want to help me out, SJC, now that we, like, everything is fine. I just keep adding things. You know, it's like, oh, I'm going to put an 8K here, a 10K here. And then it's like, oh, man, uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> we need more power. We need more. Uh, if you could help me out, SJC, just let me know. You can just look at it. CPU maxing out why GPU is not... Yeah, it's not even... Uh, let's see here. We'll take a look here. GPU is 21%. 21% there. CPU is pretty high. Just, just take a good look at it. Take a good look at it. CPU by Rockville need more gain. Yeah, my CPU definitely needs more gain. That 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 fixes everything. <laughs> it really does. Uh, w, I think you can set uh, manually NVIDIA controller per app. Andy, I know. I, I need help. I, I need help. Like, I help some of you guys tuned in here with car audio. I need, I need help here. You know, I, I know how to do, turn a computer on and sign into my email. And that's... that's that's about it. Basehead30, thank you for hanging out, man. Appreciate you, bud. Double E, all the wads are going to the tweeters and not the subs. That's probably what's happening here. <laughs> That's probably what's happening. And some milk. Yes, that'll, that'll work. Uh, AMD, AMD, AMD. Living Love with Andy Tech Support is in it. Thank you, SJC. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. This guy here built this entire computer sitting over here, and from scratch. I mean, it's a kicker computer, man. I know it's got it's. This one's got more gain in it. We'll 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 get it going. But man, thank you for all that you do, and just you know being part of the crew and building this for me a little bit over a year ago, and it's running great. I just don't know how to use it. <laughs> I don't know how to use it like a pro. Uh, appreciate you, man. Thank you for being here. SJC is just secretly in chat waiting for me to have an issue with the computer. He's on it. He is on it. <laughs> Brandon, trying my hand at SPL this year. Sent you a DM of the subs now. Hitting the Mecca show this Saturday to find out. I know Brandon Banks has got a nice setup. He really does. Oh, yeah, this is in Living Loud with Andy. I got a, a whole thing set up just for Living Loud with Andy now on my, on my phone because... It get lost with everything else between the personal and everything else, man. I think I can share this. It's not going to work perfectly. My phone could uh, load. That would be nice. Yeah, it's going to be real slow on the internet because I got a uh, screen share here. Yeah, it's not going to work perfectly. Let's see if I flip the phone. Does that do anything? No. Yeah, I'd have to re I'd have to save this and everything. Save photo. Well, let's see here. Just so you guys can get a better look at it. Would you look at that? Man, so you got the L7X there firing at like a 33 degree angle. And it looks like the port down there. And uh, I'm guessing it's sealed off in the back end. You know, in, in my experience, I would say that's going to be a very well sounding setup. It's especially for like a sealed setup with the windows up. And you can meter sealed up too. Like when you go to Mecca, ask and be like, hey, can I go? You can go there early and just say, hey, can I just do a little sweep? And I want to try it with my door open and I want to try it with everything shut. And I bet you with that kind of, you know, orientation, sub fire and kind of forward port fire and forward sealed off, you might be louder uh, with everything sealed up. And I don't know. Try it and just take a look at it. 
Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate you, man. Uh, dear AMD is better than Intel. Well, I did get a Dell, but Intel processor, yeah, I don't think that's that. I did want to show a few other photos here. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah, did anybody else catch this? I know this was in the beginning of the show. Did anyone else catch the Lil John? Yeah, you. <laughs> Lil John <laughs> looking at it. <laughs> oh, man, we, we, we got to put, you know what? I wish I had the sound on here. I don't have the sound on here. I got everything else on the sound. Would you look at that? He's looking at it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I need that little figurine. Just, you know, just John sitting up here, just, just looking at stuff. And uh, we, we, we need the whole Unmasked crew as little action figures. And we can put them beside Johnny Five here, K5. It would be awesome. <laughs> it would be awesome. By the way, side note, I did see Christine there too. I'm not really a Comic-Con kind of guy, but they had some stuff that I like. <laughs> Christine, how cool is that, man? I don't know if you've ever seen the movie. If you didn't, go look for it. It's awesome. Actor of the year right there. <laughs> Brandon says, I have never done SPL. I have always been an SQL guy. Thanks for the tips. You know, and, and that's the thing. You're dipping your foot into a whole nother league in a way. So just walk in there just be like hey i don't know anything that i'm doing let's see what it does and then go from there go from there and with your setup i bet you that sounds phenomenal though you know like a nice easy roll off you're not going to really have anything boosting in certain frequencies less cabin kind of gain setup so it's just going to be a little bit better of a natural roll off with just what the enclosure is kind of going to do rather than the vehicle emphasizing on any frequency in particular and then you have to adjust according to that because that's how sq kind of works you know to get a flatter response but not flat but you know what i mean <laughs> to, to uh what is it what do they call it to, uh, to sharpen the curve or to flatten the curve or something like that <laughs> <laughs> that's what you want to do a little bit a little bit inverted solo x good idea you know that, i mean you can do it you can do it um you know I've, I've never personally done that and when you invert any sub it's always a challenge of making sure that your cutout is right because if your cutout is not right uh you can run into issues with just rubbing your surround you know in, in, in not in a good way and next thing you know you pull that thing out it's not sounding as good and you look you got a bunch of rub on the outside of the surround and maybe just on one side because it was shifted one way and that's that's no bueno it's no bueno what i usually do when i have an inverted sub i'll you know lay it on there and then i'll throw my phone inside with a camera <laughs> so i can look at it inside the box to see if everything is equal like i'll go in there and hold my phone like this and get like a video inside to make sure that all the corners and all the edges are not going to hit and have somebody push on the sub while I'm doing that at the same time, you know? And you can. You can definitely do it. Mini Myers. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh, uh, yeah, speaking of, we need a little kip, too. We need a little kip, too. Construction screws have a pan flathead and are much stronger. You know, uh, right. You, you, you got to watch with what kind of screws. I think, uh, yes, if you're looking, if you're going to use a screw, look for construction screws. Yeah, I usually use, like, probably not the best ones, but they are construction, like, general purpose, gold-looking ones. And they're like two, two and a half inches at the most. You know, you, you got to watch because if you get really long screws, they won't have all the swivels all the way up. And if your wood's only three quarter inch thick and it doesn't go all the way up, you're not biting into the wood that much. And then with the width and how the screws are designed, uh, some will bend and some will break. Um, and they're, they're made that way for whatever application they're designed to be made for. Uh, don't use drywall screws, you know. <laughs> Cornut, don't don't do it. I've done it. I've seen it that um, the enclosure 
that I got off somebody recently had drywall screws in it. The one that I got this time, it had good construction screws, but it had star bits. I just, you know, that might work better for you. I'm just, you know, man, where's my star bit at? Let me, let me go dig for it. <laughs> just try to keep it simple, but hey, it helps that, you know, maybe theft, you know, maybe the guy came with a screwdriver. Aw, shucks. Not again, you know, swipe or no swiping. You know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Brandon says, I used quarter inch 20 bolts. LOL, I just ordered a camera to just what you said. Hey, you know, and you could use your phone, but a camera would be cool. You know, they got all those kind of cameras that, you know, you can uh, see what you're doing while you're doing it. And that's smart. It really is. Because that camera is going to be cheaper than a new drop-in, you know, <laughs> or a new whatever. Absolutely, man. Um... Uh, Little Ryko for MDF, I use 10 inch machine screws. I mean, you can use machine screws and or like threaded screws, threaded inserts. Kickers enclosures actually come with threaded inserts and like M4, you know, threaded screws. And, and those work really well. Um, again, you don't want to over torque those just like you don't want to over torque any kind of screw into wood. Because once you go past that bite of what it can do, then it just, it, it, it's just like, you know, I don't even know, stripping out a nut that is machined. It's the same thing. So whenever you're, you're drilling that in there, what I usually do whenever I'm installing any speaker, and it's going to be like for the L7X, when I did that one, that's just got like regular like two inch construction screws, the gold ones that I was talking about. And what I did was I would take the drill and you know go pretty far down but the last part i would do it by hand just so that i wouldn't accidentally you know even with like the adjustment on the on the drill that you can for the torque i don't trust it and i would just go nice and easy to get those final amount measurements of just pulling it all the way down so i don't go too many ugga duggas and then strip that screw because once that's done it's done then you're getting pulling out the sawdust and glue and packing it in the hole to redo it no bueno so there's a lot of different ways to uh bolt down your subwoofer it just all depends what you're trying to do is this camera working over here or is this now this is the <laughs> cooking monster you, you, you could take it you got it right yeah oh, nom, 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 nom. all right now we're, we're not doing that cookie i appreciate you though man uh this guy man we both love cookies we do M5 button head hex screws for the win. Yes. I like the M, like the metric style, you know, Allen's keys uh, kind of screws. They work. <coughs> Excuse me. RVH says sending Andy a sub mounted with safety torques really lose his mind with safety torques. Ooh. No, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. That. You know, I don't even, I, with, with certain applications, but not a sub, man. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. <laughs> Thanks, RVH. I like that. Stripping out for what? Yeah, you. <laughs> Bobby B, I mean, Kip, do you want to tell him? Do you want to tell him? You can tell him. It's up to you. Darn, that sub in Cookie is not using bolts. Which one? Whatever over, over here. In Cookie Monster, it is um I'm using I don't even know, hex bolts. It's just like socket set and they're like two and a half inch screws and the swivels go like literally all the way up. And um they're nice. And I take an impact, you know, kind of drill. Like I said, take it so far, and then I'm like this with a socket each one each one and i'm gonna do the uh l7x like that too whenever that goes in there she's using bolts but they're like not lag bolts lag bolts i think lag bolts they're for wood they're they're very aggressive they're very aggressive so when i'm like putting them in it's like they only go in like one way like they are threaded with that <laughs> it's nice it's good but it's not too big, you know, because you got to have that consistency of, uh, what, thread pitch and just width and all that kind of fun stuff and thickness. Blue Loctite will keep them in. Don't do that. Don't do that. 
Um, GPX and SPAX, I've heard of SPAX, make fantastic construction screws. I believe it. I believe it. You know, I'm... I'm not a big guy on just going to the store and knowing what brand of hardware to, you know, pick out. Other, like, even with, like, the drills and stuff, like, I, I, I know what the name brand stuff is, and it's like, I know what the cheap stuff is. But at the same time, whenever we're putting our money into these builds to make them work, you know, and not have issues down the road, you want to go with something that works really good. So, listen to our man Kip here. Thank you, Kip. He always wants to give me a cookie, but uh, every time he gives it to me, he just snatches it right back out of my hand. Every every time. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Lag bolts. That's it. Thank you, little. Hola. 25 needs a couch. <laughs> Dewalt for the win. All right, cool. I mean, I'm not going to keep you guys here all night. We got a show Friday. We got kicking with Andy on Tuesday. And uh, it's been kind of crazy. You know, when isn't it? Uh, I, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, again, Ernie and Jacob. Man, Jacob did great tonight. And uh, Aaron. Can't forget about Aaron. J-Dub on the computer with Bill Frog. You guys did great. And uh, you guys will be seeing Kipster here. Uh, not next week, but maybe next week and uh, from that, from Kicking with Andy. So get ready for that. And I know you guys are going to have a lot of questions for him and we're going to have fun. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing this next Tuesday. We'll see. I don't know. One step at a time, like always. Discord is up next. Thank you, 25, for letting me know. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, if you want to get the shirt, kicker.com. Just check out the stuff section, the t-shirts, all the swag. Uh, they got awesome stuff. Sandy does an amazing job putting that all together. Appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, this is it. I will see you guys on Friday. And as always, stay living loud and keep on kicking. <laughs>
and I can hear my computer clipping. Clipping. Baba! Baba! This is what makes time travel possible. That's capacitor. Makes Baba. time travel possible. The flux capacitor. Flux capacitor. Ten more memberships in Corna coming in. Three, two, one. Love you guys. See you on the next one.